So how is that situation with the game you're developing? Yeah, we didn't expect anyone to play like that. A game I lovingly call Dirt and Mayhem Simulator. Probably because everything we do in this game, whether it's intentional or not, never works out quite according to plan. But in a good way. Usually something frame rate breaking like this. Yeah, doesn't that look fun? Yeah, you've probably heard about the wave of cuts in tech companies, so I hope there's been some progress. Of course, we've made huge optimizations. It will run smoother than that Minecraft crap. I hope so. We cannot increase the 8GB RAM requirement. Not everyone has a NASA computer. Oh yeah, that's what we like to see. Just a big ol' pile of minerals. Something tells me those crucibles are probably filled now. I'm afraid to move, cause as you can see, the frame rate is going, shall we say, conservatively. In case you're wondering, by the way, what kind of toll this is having on my computer, it's not too bad. It's only taking up like 20 gigs of RAM. First things first, let's make our way over to the shutoff valve. Because maybe if stuff isn't moving, the frame rate will just get a tiny bit better.